Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you guys my everyday makeup routine. Before I start, I would like to thank YesStyle for partnering with me. If you guys don't know what YesStyle is, it is an Asian online website that sells trending clothes. YesStyle is also popular for their Korean beauty products. I've been shopping from YesStyle for the longest time. As you can see on the top, this is my first order in 2018. So I'm like low-key fangirling inside right now. Anyways, make sure to check them out. I will link all the products I use in this video down below. And let's just get started with my makeup routine. First things first, I have to put on a headband because I can't stand when my hair is in my face. I'm starting off with sunscreen. This is the Misha All Around Safe Block Essence Sun SPF 45. I already washed my face and did most of my skincare. Sunscreen should always be the last step and it is so important for your skin. This is my all-time favorite sunscreen because it is so light and gentle. So I'm just patting it in my skin and it smells really good too. Next, I'm going in with the Skin Foundation Primer. I can never do my makeup without a primer. It acts like a base for your foundation and also smooths out your skin. Also, it just makes me feel less guilty when I wear makeup. This primer has a white tint to it, so on the days where I don't want to wear heavy makeup but still want my skin to look even and alive, I would just put on this primer and call it a day. For my foundation, I am using the Misha Magic Cushion Cover Lasting in the shade Light Beige. To be honest, I should have got Medium Beige because it was way too pale for my skin. So I usually mix it with another foundation to make the perfect shade. I love cushions. They are so convenient and portable. It comes with a blending pad, so you don't even need a beauty blender. I'm looking like Flashback Mary right now, but I promise you I'll fix it later. For powder, I am using the Eclipse Blur Powder Pack in shade 21. This is seriously one of the best powders I've used. It makes my skin so smooth and you can honestly just wear it by itself. For brows, I will be using the Cleo Kill Brow Auto Hard Brow Pencil. Oh my god, that was like a tongue twister. Unfortunately, I was not blessed with a dark brow genetic like my brother, so I always have to fill in my brows. I have gone through many different brow stages. At times, it was too thin or too thick, too straight, too curvy, you name it. Even last year in my makeup routine, those brows were definitely not it. I'd say eyebrows take me the longest because I really have to concentrate and make them look even. I swear, my eyebrows are like third cousins because because I can never get them to look the same. For contour, I am using the Too Cool For School Art Class Contour. This is actually my third one. I usually never hit pan on any palette, so I was very shocked when I finished two whole contour palettes. This contour has lighter shades, so it's suitable for people with paler skin like me. Now I'm gonna contour my nose. I am not that good at nose contour, I must say. I'm just following my nose bridge and shading it. So here's me pretending to know what I'm doing when I'm really lost. This is off topic, but my hair is blue right now, as you can see. Well, it's kind of like a turquoise green and I wasn't really going for that color, but it turned out that way and I can't really do anything about it. But hopefully I can fix it to a normal blue after this video. A lot of you guys were concerned for the health of my hair and don't worry guys, it is not dead yet. Next, I will be using the Moisture Cushion Blush from the Face Shop in the shade Red. This blush is really strong, so a little bit goes a long way. I accidentally applied too much, so I'm using a beauty blender to blend it through. I was never really a blush person. If you watch my old videos, I would always say that I don't like blush, but for some reason this year, I decided to try it out and I don't think I can do my makeup without it now. So I am all done with my base makeup. Here it is. Now I'm going to start my eye makeup. I am using the 3CE Mood Recipe Multi Eye Color Palette in the shade Plot Twist. I am taking this light brown shade right here and just gonna blend it all over my eyelid. I love wearing brown and neutral shades. I think it complements my brown eyes really well. Now I am going to be mixing these two dark browns on the bottom and put it towards my crease. I only use two shades while doing my eyeshadow, a lighter brown and a darker brown. I like to focus the dark brown on the outer crease just to give it some dimension and also a little smoky effect. Although this palette is on the pricier side compared to the rest of the items, it is super pigmented and buttery. I've seen this palette everywhere, so many people were raving about it and now I know why. Next, I'm using the Peach C Champagne Eye Glitter. I'm also gonna put this all over my eyelid. I love this product so much because it actually has little specks of glitter pieces and it makes my eyeshadow stand out. 
Also recently, I love putting glitter under my eye. I don't know what it is, but it makes my eyes look a lot more awake and brighter. Now I am going to do my eyeliner, so I am using the MAC Queen Waterproof Pencil Gel Liner in the shade Classic Heroin. I am just carefully lining my waterline. I love doing this because it makes my eyes bolder. If you are a beginner and you don't know how to do a wing liner yet, you should definitely try out lining your waterline. I used to be very scared of doing anything that involves going close to my eyeball, but it doesn't hurt at all. It just makes you teary a little bit. Now moving on to a liquid eyeliner, I am using the MAC Queen Waterproof Pen Eyeliner in the shade Deep Black. You guys know I can't do a makeup look without my wing liner. I start out by drawing an upward slope towards my eyebrows and then I connect it to my lid and fill it in. I'm gonna go in with the eyelash curler. This is the Shu Umera eyelash curler. Here I am prepping my eyelashes for mascara. My eyelashes are very straight, so this is a must have. Then I'm going in with a Kiss Me Heroin Make Long Curl Mascara in Waterproof. I'm not really a falsies type of girl, I only put them on on special occasions, so from a day to day wear, I just wear mascara. This is one of my favorite mascaras of all time, it makes my eyelashes look so long. This product isn't makeup related, but it is the Face Shop Daily Perfume Hand Cream. I thought I would show you guys this because I really like this product, it smells so good. And it keeps my hands moisturized while doing my makeup. For today's lip product, I will be using the 3CE Velvet Lip Tint. I'm just applying this all over my lips. And I like to overline the bottom a little bit just to make my lips look bigger. Now I'm going in with a 3CE Plumping Lips and I'm just going to apply that on top of the lip tint. Last but not least, I am using the Kame Cream Highlighter. I'm using this highlighter brush to apply the highlighter on my cheekbones. I also apply the highlighter to the inner corners of my eyes, my brow bone, and my nose. So this is my final makeup look. Again, all the products are from YesStyle and will be linked down below. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I love you guys so much and I will see you guys next time. Bye!